Ladies and gentlemen, today is April 17th, 2013. And uh, if you're listening to the news at all, if you're following any of this, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the most dangerous time in American history since the Kennedy assassination. Uh, there are some situations going on right now that you need to know about. And um, there are people out there that are putting this together. I'm not the only one. But we're all coming to it at about the same time, thanks to some work by some uh, people who've been scanning the videos of the Boston Marathon bombing. There are other issues as well. But the first thing that I want to say is this, and I'm just going to spill it out, okay? Right now, you are seeing something happen where there are elements of our government that are at odds with each other and we're at a very dangerous crossroads, okay? There are factions in the government that are ready to try to seize power, and it's going to get very ugly, okay? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't certain things going on now. But uh, one, of the, one of the things that have happened in the last few days, and I don't, not just the Boston thing, You'll notice the gold took a big dip. The Federal Reserve did that, attacked the gold by dropping a whole bunch of uh, paper gold uh, certificates or however they do their, their trading uh, to lower the price, to make it look like gold, a bunch of gold had been dropped on the market when actually it hadn't. The, the purpose of that was, of course, to make gold not as as attractive as a, of, as an investment sorry <laughs> I haven't had much sleep lately um, but there's more to it than that and I want to point this out to you remember Texas and some other states Texas being the first one Rick Perry demanded their gold back from the Federal Reserve when it was at you know sixteen eighteen hundred dollars an ounce and now of course the price of gold has dropped in other words trying to make people not as interested in keeping it but the point is that this was done not just as an act for against individuals. This was an act done against state governments. Okay, do you understand the significance of that? The Federal Reserve is a private entity pretending to be part of the federal government, but backed by the power of the federal government, telling the states, no, you're not going to get your gold back. Do you see what's happening here? Okay, that's the first thing. I wanted to bring that up because I didn't want to forget it. That is also part of what's going on with this Boston Marathon bombing thing. This was in fact a false flag. Some of you that I sent this information out to, I came up with an emergency video a little while ago showing that uh, Alex Jones is Infowars, one of his investigators, Paul Watson, who's actually a British citizen, was scanning, did a, an excellent job on scanning the videos and the, the, the photographs that are on 4chan. These are all the things that are downloaded about for instance, when I went to the uh, Mardi Gras in uh, Galveston, Texas, you know, people like me will download this, these videos to the net. Well, he and his team scoured these pictures and found the black ops people that are, were there. Now, why is that significant? Because they denied that there was a bomb drill in process, but that we have witnesses now who said that they were told that there was a bomb drill in process. In, in Boston uh, that there were loudspeaker messages to not be al alarmed by the people carrying backpacks etc uh, the university uh, coach that was there is, is one of the examples of that but there are even more now uh, the important thing to understand here is is that if it hadn't been for people downloading their pictures to 4chan we wouldn't have this information okay um, the government denied that there was a drill. A drill is always a cover-up for a false flag. The reason being that if the operatives get caught, if their patsy gets caught, they can say, well, it's just part of a drill. It's not for real. Well, now, with these pictures and with all of the evidence that we have, we know, in fact, not only was it a drill to cover the black op, but that our government, or at least rogue forces of it, or the shadow government, however... You know, these are government operatives that pulled this thing off, that killed Americans, just like they have in so many other instances, okay? This is a very critical time because there's another possibility to this Boston thing.
And it goes back to what I was saying at the very beginning. That there are forces at odds with each other in the government. We saw that play out with Petraeus and the CIA. Okay, we saw it with the with the relief of general officers, a, a, about a dozen of them now, who have butted up against the 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 White House. So there are things happening, and you have to. You know, yes, I, I am a little stressed here because I realize the implications of this. I've seen these kinds of things happen in third world countries where there was a coup, okay? We're mounting up to that. There is a war that's going on inside our government and it's going to spill out into the general population. They're trying to cover their tracks. What was the, person, the, the purpose, the reason for the Boston uh, Marathon bombing? Was it to cover up? Was it to divert our, our attention? For instance, divert our attention away from the fact that Bush and Obama are being indicted by a bipartisan committee uh, for war crimes and that this was coming out? Uh, was it to divert our attention from the dollar problem? Was it to divert our attention from this you know, difficulty going on in the government? Or, and this is a real possibility, was it an act against one part of the government by another. And I know that doesn't sound like it would make much sense right now, but you'd have to understand how these things are played out. The key to all of this was today. When when this information on this black operation, this drill in progress, which was denied by all sorts of government people, when this information came out and the pictures of the operatives came out and the Patsy and all of these other things, okay, the FBI and, and the police were just about ready to bring this right-wing suspect out and, and, and take him to a judge at the, at the Boston courthouse. The media got a hold of it and stated that they had made an arrest, okay? But at the same time, our information came out on this black ops with the pictures and the videos and the, the operatives and all that. And the government said, oh my gosh, you know, they got us. So they shut down the information on the suspect. They turned around their story and said, no, they didn't arrest anybody. The Boston courthouse was closed because they said it, well, there was a danger there. The danger was they were going to get, you know, revealed. And so you've seen this backtrack today on, oh, we've got the suspect. Now we don't. It was going to be a right wing extremist helped by Al Qaeda. That's exactly how this thing was going to play out. And they got caught in the middle of it. Now, I've already said in the previous video, go to Infowars.com if you like. You can see the pictures that have been submitted there. Why the Infowars? Well, because it was primarily their investigators that broke this with the help of independents who were sending them the, the, the intelligence information. But they were the best ones for this. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, this is really, this is crazy stuff. Uh, I'm a little old to be doing this kind of thing now. You know, in my younger days, it wasn't so tough. Now it's a little more difficult because, you know, I, I see the big picture now. The people that are bringing this information out are endangering their lives. Okay? Bottom line, people that are bringing this information out are putting their lives on the line to show you what's happening and how dangerous of a situation it is. Okay? Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to try to come back with some particulars. Uh, so pardon me while I have a little break here. Uh, I'll do something to make the transition a little bit easier to handle, okay? All right.